South Korea's K-2 Black Panther, a main battle tank, MBT, celebrated for its advanced capabilities and notable as the most expensive armored vehicle at $8.5 million per unit, is set for an upgrade with the K-2 PIP project. This variant will introduce numerous advancements, further enhancing its combat effectiveness. Initially designed to reduce reliance on foreign military technology and improve domestic arms development, the K-2 has achieved significant milestones since its introduction in 2014. With features like an automatic loader, hydropneumatic suspension, and a domestically produced 120mm-L55 smoothbore gun, the K-2 stands out in global tank rankings. Poland and Egypt are among the international customers, reflecting the tank's export success. While the American-made M1 Abrams, German-made Leopard, and British-made Challenger are likely the most recognizable tank names today, South Korea's K2 Black Panther should not be discounted. In fact, many analysts have argued that this main battle tank, MBT, is one of the best of its kind to enter service. Additionally, the Black Panther is noted for being the most expensive armored vehicle produced to date, with each unit costing roughly $8.5 million. Now that Seoul's MBT has remained in service for a decade, an upgraded variant is nearing its production phase. The K2 PIP will sport a litany of enhancements when introduced, further cementing the Black Panther's formidability. The Black Panther was derived from South Korea's desire to grow its manufacturing capabilities to improve its self-reliance in developing arms. Prior to the Black Panther, Seoul depended on the American-made M48 Patton. By the late 1980s, manufacturer General Dynamics Land Systems produced the K188 tank. While this new MBT was a derivative of the American-made Abrams tank, South Korea did gain experience through the development process. However, specific legal agreements surrounding the Abrams arrangement limited Seoul's ability to export or enhance the tank model down the line. Over the next decade, South Korean engineers again researched the possibility of producing a domestic design tank but cost restraints hindered this project. Instead, Seoul decided to produce an upgraded K-1 variant. By the end of the 1990s, a new K-1A1 variant was displayed, featuring advanced turret designs, composite armors, and other capabilities. South Korean engineers were simultaneously continuing to work on a future domestic tank plan. Private companies participated in this exploratory research phase, developing new technologies and systems like the turret drive system and tank gun. Ultimately, two test vehicles were constructed. The XK-2 project was selected after being declared a good combat fit by South Korea's Defense Acquisition Program Administration in 2008. The K-2 was first introduced to service in 2014, designed and constructed in South Korea to safeguard production in times of war and minimize reliance on foreign allies. Like France's Leclerc MBT, the Black Panther sports an automatic loader mounted in the turret bustle. The Soulmate tank is also equipped with a German Rainmetal CN08120mm-L55 smoothbore gun that is license-produced domestically. This power source enables the tank to reach a top speed of 43 miles per hour on the road and 31 miles per hour cross-country. As detailed by Military Today, the advanced system can detect, select and load the required type and amount of ammunition simultaneously. The maximum rate of fire is 15 rounds per mount. However, it is much lower in real combat scenarios. 16 rounds are stored in the autoloader, while the remaining 24 are stored inside the hull.
Perhaps one of the most significant features incorporated in the Black Panther tank is its hydropneumatic suspension, which allows the tank to lower or raise its profile. Notably, this suspension can be lowered for enhanced speed or raised for cross-country operations. The K2 can also lean forward and backward, enabling the tank to elevate its main cannon when necessary. Additionally, the gunner's primary and commander's panoramic sight are stabilized in two axes on the tank, including a laser rangefinder and thermal imager. Newer K2 models produced last year were fitted with a hybrid power pack consisting of the RENK transmission and an engine developed by Dusan Infracore, as the homegrown automatic transmission developed by ST Dynamics has failed in durability tests, according to a report released by the Defense Acquisition Program Administration. Since the Black Panther's introduction to service, Poland has become the largest foreign buyer of the MBT. Warsaw first announced it had begun negotiating with Hyundai Rotem for license production of the K2 back in 2020. By 2022, a framework agreement to deliver 180 Black Panthers and 820 K2 PLs to Poland was penned. This nearly $3.4 billion agreement outlined training programs, explosive reactive armor packages and logistics packages in addition to the tanks. Egypt has also revealed that it was seeking to procure the Black Panther as trade between the two nations has increased in recent years. Additionally, Norway announced that it would be putting the Black Panther up against the German-made Leopard MBT in tests to determine its future battle tank. While the K2 Black Panther is already a robust platform, the upgraded K2 PIP variant is expected to perform even better. According to Army recognition, some of the enhancements included in the new design are an upgraded semi-active in-arm suspension unit, the integration of a high-resolution terrain scanning system, hard-kill anti-missile systems, non-explosive reactive armor and a new electrothermal chemical gun that will enhance the vehicle's firepower and potential payload.